Welcome to my next Big Bang Theory Season 11 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you aren't caught up to the point where I am, and where you're watching or watching the Big Bang Theory, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description. If that happens to be the case, you find out that you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. With that in mind, this will be the Big Bang Theory Season 11, Episode 4. The title of this episode is called The Explosion Implosion. And this will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watch the episodes. Surprisingly enough, we don't start off in the apartment. While waiting to have Bernadette's sonogram, Howard says that it doesn't seem that long since they were doing that. Now, Bernadette replies that it hasn't been that long and that he should have a vasectomy. The technician comes in asking if they are ready to find out the sex of their baby. Yes, Howard and Bernadette say they don't care what sex it is, though they aren't too excited when they hear that it's a boy. And then we go to Leonard and Penny's place where Howard and Bernadette are talking to the gang who are expressing doubts that they can raise a son. Amy wonders if Bernadette wants a little version of Howard. She, and then she... Um, and then Bernadette says she already has a little version of Howard. Howard doubts that he can teach a son manly things. Leonard reminds him that he was an astronaut. Howard did build model rockets when he was younger, which excites Sheldon. Leonard comes down the hall with his Captain Kirk uh, shirt, explaining that he has to have it dry clean to get uh, the green stain out of it. And Penny was wearing green body paint during sex, so that's why. Uh, the computer rings that Beverly Hostetter was calling, so Leonard runs out the door. Penny talks to Beverly and learns of her Cuban dinner and unsatisfying coitus of the previous night. Okay, uh, uh, replies a disinterested Penny. And then Beverly anticipates her next questions with answers. Uh, roast pork and a sidewise missionary. Okay, TMI, Beverly Hostetter. Raj, Howard, and Sheldon are going through Howard's old rockets. Sheldon used to launch them too. Once during their garage, or at once uh, burning down their garage, Sheldon finds the Saturn V model Howard's dad got him just before he left Howard's mom. Howard never wanted to use it. Then Howard suggests that he and Sheldon build it now as a bonding experience. Sheldon didn't think that was positive. Raj is talking to Bernadette since Howard and Sheldon were bonding over their miserable childhoods. Bernadette is putting away Hallie's clothes that she has outgrown since their new baby uh, is a boy. And then Raj tells her how to modify some of the clothes for her son, so to make it more woke. Nah, kind of, I guess. Anyway, Sheldon and Howard are driving out to launch their rocket, uh, or Howard's rocket. And Howard uh, brought peanuts because at uh, JPL... Uh, they always have peanuts around a as a superstition uh, to have a successful launch. Sheldon doesn't like peanuts, and uh, Howard's allergic to peanuts. <laughs> but uh, if it's a tradition, then it's a tradition, so Sheldon wants to get peanuts. Penny answers the phone and is surprised to find out that Beverly Hofstetter is called to talk to her. She enjoyed talking to Penny and wants to continue their conversation since she doesn't have a lot of girlfriends. All of her female colleagues are, uh, you know, just people she can't talk about. So she can complain about her father, uh, joke, uh, joke Beverly. And then Beverly wants to talk to Pen about Penny's life. And Penny wants them to find a girlfriend so they can uh, trash uh, talk th them behind their back. Beverly wants to be catty. She starts uh, that she finds Amy a bit dour and then meow. That's what Penny replies with. Out in the desert, Howard is preparing the rocket while Sheldon photographs it and videos it. First, they argue if uh, the uh, countdown should start T- minus or L-. minus. When the countdown reaches zero, Howard ignites the launch sequence as the rocket blows up on the launch pad. Sheldon remarks that he thought they went higher. Howard is now upset because he thought he was. Th this was the one thing that he could do uh, with the sun, and Sheldon finds the video he took when he um, uh, played slow motion is neat. Howard uh, mentions that uh, he doesn't know anything about raising a boy, and Sheldon retorts asking, what does he know about raising a girl? Penny gets a text from Beverly and tells uh, 
Leonard, now she keeps contacting her. Leonard warns that she could be the subject of her mother's next book. It seems that they have really been supporting each other, which bothers Leonard since he never did that, or she never did with that with him, his mother. And uh, he was, uh, she was never proud of him. Back in the desert, uh, Sheldon and Howard are picking up what's left of the rocket. Sheldon is trying to cheer Howard up with reasons like, the launch was per terrible, but the explosion was glorious. Sheldon hopes he won't uh, be mopey all the way home, so he thinks up an amazing trigonometry riddle. riddle. Raj is working on some of Hallie's old clothes, and his attempt at putting a bat and two baseballs on it looks like a boy's tiny male penis. Bernadette is fine with having a son since she grew up with brothers. Leonard goes over to talk to Amy, who is working on her computer. He is worried that Penny and uh, Beverly are talking to each other like they are best friends. Amy assures him that they are that they are best friends. Uh, because uh, Amy is Penny's best friend. Uh, Leonard disagrees, causing Amy to wonder if she has been neglecting their friendship. Each of them starts talking about their uh, problem, ignoring the other one. Amy concludes that she deserves her own life. Leonard walks out with no real solution. Heading back home, Sheldon is worried that Howard's emotional problems will distract his driving. Howard adds that irritating passengers causes the same thing. Sheldon asks if he can drive since he has a driver a license. He barely passed his test, but the road was straight and the road they're on is straight and no one was around, and Howard doesn't seem to have a reason to live. Leonard calls his mother, who was expecting Penny. Leonard wants to know why she isn't proud of him. And uh of Penny and the rest of her childhood spouse, she is the most impressed with. So Penny is Beverly's most impressed, like spouse of her sons. Uh, she's confident, caring, and doesn't complain about Leonard. Then she tells Leonard that he married well, and she is proud of him for that reason. That drives Leonard to tears. Oh, poor Leonard. Sheldon is now driving Howard's car with Howard coaching him. Sheldon thinks that Howard is a good teacher and that his son is lucky to have him as a father. And then Sheldon speeds up, scaring Howard, and ends up getting stopped by a police officer, played by Tommy from Shameless. I don't remember the actor's name, but uh, he was Sheldon was going 120, 112 miles per hour. At, after the officer asked Sheldon for his license, Sheldon just tells him to keep it. And that's what ends this episode of Shameless, or Shameless. That's what ends this episode of The Big Bang Theory. So I really like this episode. I looked on IMDb. It does not get a high score. I really liked a lot of stuff that happened in this one. I, I chuckled many times during the episode. Uh, a lot of Sheldon's smart remarks towards Howard. The comments that Penny would make to uh, Mrs. Hofstetter. So I'm going to give the episode an 8.7 out of 10. My character of the episode, I mean, you could give it to Sheldon. You could give it to Howard. You could give it to Penny. Ultimately, I went with Sheldon. And then, as many of you know... I rate Penny because that's the reason why I started watching The Big Bang Theory and one of the reasons why I continue to watch The Big Bang Theory. For this one, I'm giving Penny a 9.3 out of 10. So she looked mighty gorgeous in this episode. So you've heard everything that I have to say. Now it's your turn if you're a fan of The Big Bang Theory and you want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Please consider Hulk smashing the like button. Share this video with a friend that likes The Big Bang Theory. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are regarding this show. What would you rate this episode? What would you score? Uh, who I should say, who would be your character of this episode? If you want to rate Penny like I do, definitely go ahead and do that in the comments section. I'll leave some, some video suggestions here, 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 and here. Check those out. There'll be playlists. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support and be a part of something special. And you never know what you're going to see on JDev TV.